before I won Project Fame, I was praying for a platform. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be heard so bad. Right, my guest today is Inyanya. He broke Twitter, scattered the internet, when he did something that most musicians never do. Because sharing that story inspires so many, yeah. so many people. You yeah. know, there's so many people who reached out to me to say, Thank you for that tweet. It inspired me, you know. I've interviewed a lot of musicians, you know, and the one thing they don't do at all or is vulnerability. Why is it hard for celebs to be vulnerable? Because they've been vulnerable, they've shared their experiences with some people and they've, they've, they've been burnt. And so most of them have been there. Now they don't even know who to talk to anymore. Yes. There's nobody. Yeah, yeah, I've been one of the biggest pop stars in the country, the biggest field stadiums, you know, artist of the year, the head is all of that. And then you know, there was crisis with his label and his fat partner and his friend would be frankly. And then, you know, his career seemed to ebb. You know how it is when you've been out for a while, coming back is, it's not very easy. You know, not everybody's going to be willing to help you get back up, you know what I'm saying? You know, then he went to Maven, everybody was waiting for a comeback. Didn't quite happen. 2021, he says, December, which is the busiest period for an artist, no show. When I say December, there are no shows. It's not that like people don't reach out. Or, right. But nobody's willing to give you what you're worth. Right. Yeah, so they are, they are, they are underpricing. Yeah, under yeah they're bullying you. They're bro, you call it, it's just... And, and because of how... You're, you know your worth, you know, you believe in yourself, so Ubi will say, we can't do that. But then he had reconciled with Ubi after a very public breakup, and they had begun to rebuild the pieces of that career. And he said in December, no breathing space because he was booked, busy, paid, back to back. I'm very thankful today, you know why? Because mm -hmm. you're asking me this question, and I remember and we'd be having this conversation in the car, and saying, oh, man, it's crazy, your last Christmas with the breakfast show, oh man, how oh, God good, you know what I'm saying? And when that tweet came out, Everybody was surprised, like for real. Yeah. What did that teach him about life? All of this we have talked about has taught me humility. But the heart of this interview is the ebb and flow and ebb and flow of one of Africa's biggest pop stars. This one will teach you something. 